how's it going everybody so today i want to tell you about light and underwater photography and underwater videography when you're at the surface the sun is shining down white light which in reality is a mix of spectral colors from the red to the violet now once you go underwater the deeper you go the more you lose light on the red on the long wavelength on the low energy part of the spectrum now this image here these images this footage that was shot in only a couple of meters of water but you can already see the colors are less saturated and there is less of a red component in there even though this was on a sunny day in the tropics around noon now the deeper you go the more extreme this effect becomes and if you're going to a dive site which is 25 meters deep you will lose a significant part of the warm colors so i filmed this turtle in about 25 meters and you can see that most of the footage is blue and there's a bit of an exception which is that the head and you know, the front of the turtle and these corals it's munching on here has a little bit of red but this is because of an external source of light a broader video light the background and you know, the whole scenery is essentially grayish bluish and this is because at a depth of 25 meters even in very clear water in the tropics you will lose most of your warm colors starting from the red part of the spectrum and then going towards higher wavelength and you will lose successively more of that now again here you can see quite nicely how the head of the turtle where my video light is shining had a little bit of warm colors but the background has almost none so this loss of warm colors which you can sometimes substitute with an artificial source of light like a video light is one thing to consider there are more advanced points which i want to make about light underwater there's an effect called water caustics or dappling so the waves will on a, on a calm day will break at the surface and then the light will be reflected on the ridges of the waves and this will create this mosaic this this maze of lines at the bottom of the ocean that can make for very interesting footage and very interesting photographs so use this also here these are mangroves but you can get very similar effects uh, under a pier when you have pylons so any kind of three-dimensional structure will do interesting things to the light it will move it around in these rays and you know this can look very playful in a video and it can also look really nicely in a photograph that you have these light rays which are projecting through the image and they add a lot of character to an image of uh, animals or plants which otherwise might be a bit dull now i hope you enjoyed this there will be more such photo tips in the next couple of weeks i would like to point out that i've published two books this year and one is about gobies which i can highly recommend unsurprisingly it has a lot of photographs and the other one is about the physiology of the human brain when diving i think this should also be highly relevant reading for every diver so i hope you enjoyed this and see you next week